Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now guys, let's take a look at the gold market. So you can see finally gold has shown some minor bounce out from the strong resistance area. But this reaction, at least the reaction that we see right now, looks really shy compared to the strength of the level um, that we have discussed previously. This really strong support. This is the agreement since uh, here we have not just the 12 even FIP support, monthly pivot support on ABCD, but also the ABCD ultimate a downward target, it's 1618 extension, and uh, usually market shows uh, a bit more active reaction on the reaching of such sort of the supports. But here we see that reaction in general very lazy and shy, and mostly it has been dri driven by the slightly dovish comments from the Yellen. Uh, uh, she said yesterday that it can't uh, promise and acknowledge the uh, definite month where when the rate will be will be height uh, will be rising but uh, they, they will uh, move the Fed will move uh, from meeting to meeting a discussion and uh, w with the question of the rate hiking but uh, she said that uh, definitely there will be no rising but in the nearest couple of meetings of the Fed Reserve. So investors have, have treated this uh, statement as the dovish and that has led to some shy uh, dollar weakness and um, this small bounce on the gold market. Well right now uh, as we have entered into this trade uh, we should to do a couple of things. First of all move your stop to the break even because the reaction is really anemic and uh, it looks up protection looks really fragile that's why uh, we do not have uh, sufficient confidence that this up protection will continue that's why it's better to protect your positions having the uh, strong support area on your back and move your stops to the break even depending on where you have taken the position if you have taken it at all of course uh, second we now need to estimate the possible target of this up protection so based on the daily chart the most probable destination of this re retracement could stand here, it's 1235, 1238 area, if of course any reaction on the support will continue at all. That's the first point that we will be watching for is the target of this retracement. Second moment that we will be watching here is the MACD predictor. Because you can know, you can see that price come, has, has come very close to the MACD line and on the next day, today or maybe tomorrow, market could form here the bearish grabber. If bearish grabber will appear, it could mean that no upward retracement will happen and it will not continue. And we should be ready for a downward retracement taken out of these lows. And that in turn probably will mean that market could continue move lower. That's why second uh, uh, pattern that we will be watching for is the potential bearish grabber here. That's very important moment here, especially if you have the long position. Uh, on the hourly chart, guys, to be honest, uh, we do not see any clear pattern except maybe this double bottom. Now you can see the market has met the neckline and weekly pivot point. Now it's retracement right back down. So if this pattern will work, the target of this pattern stands right here. It's in an area around weekly pivot resistance 1, it's 1230. It's very close to this target that we have here. It's 1235, it's 1230 is the destination of this possible double bottom if it will work of course but if we will get tomorrow or even today the bearish grabber that will probably suggest the double bottom will fail and in this case we should be ready for the downward continuation so currently guys uh, since we already stand in, inside of this trade we call you to move your stop to the break even because as you can see as we said situation is really uh, not very stable not very strong with this upward action uh, and currently it's not really a lot of confidence we have that this upper direction will continue. That's why I'll bet to protect you, our position with the break-even step. 
and keep watching on this possible double bottom and the, what is more even important for uh, possible uh, bearish grabber on the daily chart.